The key players who helped stop the sale of JEA in 2019 worked largely behind the scenes, but they've taken center stage in the federal criminal case against two former JEA execs. Today, former CEO Aaron Zahn arrived for day seven of pretrial hearings in the case against him and former CFO Ryan Wanamaker. Both have pleaded not guilty to fraud and conspiracy charges for crafting a plan prosecutors say would have been a multi-million dollar windfall for them if JEA, JEA was sold. A parade of financial experts today offered remarkably consistent testimony about the secrecy that surrounded the plan and their efforts to calculate what it would cost JEA ratepayers. You can follow our full coverage of this case on firstcoastnews.com.